Hey YouTubers, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you the proper linkage configuration on your 8 to 11 horsepower Tecumseh snowblower engine. In this video I'm going to show you exactly where the linkages should go on the governor arm and on the carburetor and on the throttle lever. So here's a Tecumseh engine from a snowblower. This is an 8 horsepower but like I mentioned previously this video will apply from 8 horsepower up to 11 horsepower engines. And for this video, I've purposely removed the muffler to give you a better view of all the linkages here. Now we'll start with the first linkage here that connects to the throttle lever mechanism. And as you can see, it's hooked into the second hole from the top right here and on the front side of this mechanism here. Now you can follow this linkage all the way back to the governor arm back here. And it's going to go in the second hole right here. And here's a second view of it from a different angle. Now there's a smaller thinner linkage at the front here and it goes all the way back to the carburetor butterfly mechanism here on top of the carb. And as you can see it's in this hole right here. Now when you take your carburetor apart, if you want to remember exactly where the linkage went, you can make a little mark with a black marker, then you know exactly which hole it's going to go back in. So again, here's an overview. Here's the throttle lever. Linkage is hooked in right here. That's the larger linkage out of the two. It goes all the way back to the governor arm. It's hooked in on the far hole. The second thinner linkage goes from here to the carburetor butterfly mechanism here on the carb and that's all there is to it. Now this screw right here is to adjust your idle. It does not adjust the fuel mixture or air mixture in the carburetor. If you turn in the screw your engine is going to idle faster. If you turn it out it's going to idle slower. And by the way this is a number T10 Torx screwdriver. You'll notice a Torx screw here number 10 on the throttle lever. The way to adjust this screw is you turn it in to get higher RPMs when your throttle is wide open. If you turn the screw out, you're going to get lower RPMs when your throttle is wide open. If you play with the setting of this screw, be sure you do not over rev your engine because you could blow a connecting rod. I do have a video that I made last winter on how to adjust the governor on your snowblower engine. I'm going to post a link underneath this video for you to reference it. So if you're wondering how to do that, just click on the link below the video and you can view the video that I posted last year. The reason why I made this video is a lot of people take their carburetors off their machine and then they're not sure if they have put it in back the proper way after. So bookmark this video. You can always reference to it whenever you work on your snowblower. Thanks for watching and have a great day.